to another video. In today's video, I have 10 fragrances from my collection that are my most complimented niche perfumes. And also, you guys have been asking for a lot more tea content. So today I'm going to be pairing the two. And my darlings, I'm excited to announce that I will be partnering with a very special tea company that focuses on artisan teas, a very fine selective teas for you guys to explore. Now this company is Gallery de Terre and this is by Ahmad Teas. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Make sure you hit that notification bell. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Now let's start this video. Okay, so let's open this up here. So we have a little card here, and this is an introduction and a welcome to the brand and about the fine teas that they supply. Oh, this is so beautiful. Okay, so the packaging is lovely. I love this packaging, guys. I am all about the experience because you know tea is actually an experience and every moment of it should be special here it's just so beautiful with the flowers I love that touch there I've got little paper flowers here which is so pretty I'm all about the extra effort that a company or a brand puts into their products and it just gives such a nice experience so my darlings this is the tea I have today this is my Darjeeling and isn't the presentation so beautiful? We're going to try this out today and let me show you the leaves inside. This is the first flush that I have a sample of so I am intrigued to try this. I do prefer first flush. It's the first of the season and I'm really excited to try. So darlings, boil the kettle and let's get started. So we do have an instruction guide here just to tell you how to prepare the tea. And it's true, preparing tea is an art, guys. And I'm gonna go through preparing this tea with you. And in this packet here, you receive 30 grams of loose leaf tea. So that's our tea leaves here. And the aroma from this is floral, it's delicate. Oh my gosh, it's a really beautiful tea. So we're gonna start it off at 90 degrees there. So now I'm going to allow the tea to brew. Okay, my darlings, my tea is ready. And you've got this lovely, I just want to show you the liqueur here. It's a really pretty color. I'm just going to pour that now for you. So my darlings, my tea is ready. I have a beautiful cup of Darjeeling by Galerie Duterte. And I hope you've all made yourself a wonderful cup of tea to enjoy my video. Let's go over and talk about my fragrances and I'm going to share with you my first thoughts on this beautiful tea. So now it's time for the taste test. So I'm gonna go ahead and sample this tea. And this is the champagne of teas, guys. This is Darjeeling, and Darjeeling is so special. It's the first tea of the season, and it's usually harvested around April. So it's a very special tea, and it has a very fine taste. So let's go ahead and taste this one. This tea is very fine, and it has a very light flavor. It's very delicate. This is really nice. now. What I love about Darjeeling, it does have this almost champagne quality to it. It is described that way too, obviously, but it has a very light, delicate floral note and it's not too heavy. So for those of you who are a huge tea lover like myself, I am offering a 15% discount code, which I will link down below in the description box. So take advantage of that and enjoy their gallery of teas they have a huge selection online and you saw the gifting and the guides that they give you it's quite a nice fun experience so darlings let's talk about my most complimented fragrances now this part of the video i'm going to be ranking 10 fragrances up to my most complimented perfume so, the very first fragrance i'd like to start off with is this one here and this is my loewe this is my pink magnolia this fragrance is new to my collection i only bought this a couple months ago now I think so the middle of summer and um, this fragrance is soft but sparkling at the same time it gives you that effervescence note it's clean you have you have the berry notes in here 
and we have sandalwood, we have musk and magnolia. It's very pretty and soft. It smells feminine, this perfume. It's bright and I think it's quite radiant, this perfume. This reminds me a lot of My Harrods Rose by Bond Number no. 9. If you like Bond Number no. 9, then you definitely would like this. It's very similar. This one I think is a little bit more fruity. So this makes this amazing and ideal for the summer months. So the next fragrance I have is by the House of Killian. This is my Love Don't Be Shy. This is the original formula in the white bottle. And this perfume is beautiful, guys. It's extremely sweet, sickly sweet. It's like <laughs> so beautiful. You have caramel, vanilla, you have that marshmallow note. There's rose and jasmine in here, but it's the orange blossom that you receive. This is like your sweet sugary orange blossom. And this is a beautiful scent. It's highly complimented. I have to say this perfume, I have to overspray it, but I do receive compliments when I do. This isn't extremely long lasting, but you can make it work for you. And I think these bottles, they are handy enough to travel with, but if you can buy an atomizer to top this up, it's worth it because it smells gorgeous. And you're going to receive a lot of compliments with this one. So that's my love, don't be shy. The next fragrance I have is a perfume by Diptyque. And this is my Eau Joelle. And this perfume is so highly complimented, guys. It's aromatic spicy vanilla this is a very unique vanilla and it's for those of you who want a vanilla that smells more grown-up sophisticated but most definitely unique this has incense in here and we have some saffron you have cardamom in this perfume and some black tea this fragrance will linger on my skin for quite a while it has like a little bit of this woody spicy earthiness to it as well you've got the amber you've got cardamom saffron it gives it this nice woodiness to it but this is a very unique vanilla it does remind me it gives me like holiday vibes if you want a fragrance to remind you of maybe thanksgiving or christmas autumn and winter this is the scent that i do recommend it's cozy and really beautiful the next bottle i wanted to show you is a fragrance that is highly complimented and this is my belle de freak by by radio i normally wear belle de freak in the summer summer and autumn and this perfume has a freshness to it there's the lemon that you definitely pick up you've got that citrus note in the opening you have violet jasmine you have musk in here but there's also vetiver and amber in the base and this is a really unique fragrance you know i haven't smelled anything like this i really love it and this was a fragrance that was most definitely love at first sniff when i tried it i was in space nk and i was sampling some of the by radio fragrances and when I tried this perfume, I fell in love with it immediately. This was a scent I had to wear like every summer and I wanted to wear it daytime, evenings. It's so beautiful. This is the lemon bergamot meets that heart of jasmine and violet. I really do get violet in here, but it's a very soft violet, wearable, modern. And um, yeah, this to me is something I just love to wear in the summertime, but I can wear this easily in the autumn. It's got this coziness to it at the same time with it being fresh and citrus and i think that's very special but yes that's my belle de freak by by radio so the next perfume i have is my roses Vini by mancera this was again another love at first sniff for me i tried this perfume in selfridges actually and um when i tried it i was just like wow this is so beautiful so unique so different it is, again, a very sweet gourmand rose. It's syrupy, we've got some sugary notes in here. And it's just that, it's roses and vanilla. This fragrance opens up with lemon, but then you get this strong, intense vanilla with roses. But the roses, that syrupy, sticky rose you would receive from Turkish Delight. And it's sweet with some musk in here as well. You could get away with wearing this fragrance in the summertime. This has to be a very sticky, sweet rose and vanilla combination. But I can wear this in the summer and it's not cloying at all. And to be honest, this is something I wear summer and during the cooler months as well. But I love to wear this in the summer. I find that it radiates really well. 
and this is heavily complimented. So this fragrance will fill the room every time I wear it and if I leave a room, someone will say Charlene was here or oh, what is that trail? I can smell your perfume for miles. But this does have that artificial note, which I absolutely do not mind. It's to me, it's artificial in a nice way. It doesn't smell highly synthetic and plasticky. It's sweet and I do like it for that. So try this perfume. I think most people have tried this fragrance and they do love it but for me you get that lemon rose and that really sticky sweet vanilla so that's my roses for me so this is my top five now in terms of my most complimented scents and when i say my top five no matter what i do with these fragrances under spray over spray a tiny dab people will come to me and say you smell amazing what is that so the fragrance i have guys i love this love 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 this is my Angelique Noir. When I first tried this fragrance, I found it unique and a little bit hard to understand. Guys, it was the jasmine. It was that smooth vanilla. There's some pear in here. It's just so unique and beautiful, guys. I love how unique it is. It's highly complimented. This perfume, I like to wear it in the spring, autumn, and winter. The summer, I have to say, I haven't picked this up during the summer. Try this out if you haven't tried it already. Definitely try this if you like vanilla with a bit of this green leafy floral note with the pear. <sighs> Guys, I love this one. That's my Angelique Noir. <laughs> Guys, so I have a Tom Ford fragrance for you. This is my Tobacco Vini. And oh, you guys, where do I start with this one? There is a chocolatey note to this, the vanilla tonka. I love this perfume and I think this fragrance is a wonderful fragrance that is unisex. And I love this almondy, chocolatey tonka note in here, the vanilla, the tobacco, and it's the leaf of the tobacco, so you do get a bit of green in this. This fragrance projects so well on my skin and also one of my friends she has this fragrance also and this projects on her so well and oh, it fills the room it's creamy it's smooth wow guys as you guys can see i do have a hundred ml bottle here i couldn't go any smaller with this perfume because i do love vanilla and i love vanilla in the autumn and the winter and um, this is a fragrance I love to overspray. <laughs> I really love to enjoy this fragrance. I enjoy the scent. Like, I actually want to smell this on my skin. So, if you guys are looking for a fragrance that is smooth and, and creamy, and it's almost like a unique vanilla, then this is the one for you to try. If you will enjoy Serge Luton's Un Bois Veni, then you will definitely enjoy Tobacco Veni. I feel like they both utilize that Tonka almondy note with the vanilla together. Um, Un Bois Veni has more of that strong incense note. It reminds me a lot of the holidays. And this one here is fairly similar but you get that green leafy note from the tobacco leaf and also if you enjoy Eau de well then you should like this one as well i mean this one is quite similar to un bois vini and that's because it's got that incense note with the vanilla i think it's really beautiful so that's like a good comparison but this i have to say this fragrance is just so complimented everyone loves it um, and I love it too, so that's my tobacco for me. I think this fragrance needs tea, guys. It needs a champagne of tea, guys. It needs Darjeeling. <laughs> this is my, guys, you know what fragrance I'm going to mention. This is my Baccarat Rouge 540. Oh my goodness me, guys. So this is the original Eau de Parfum. I have to say, this again was a love at first sniff. I have to say, with this perfume, I've been consistently loving this fragrance. Now, there are certain perfumes that you do fall in love with, but then it's like you fall out of love with those fragrances. I have to say that this perfume has never happened to me. I don't think I ever felt like, oh my gosh, like I'm over it, I've had enough of it, I'm sick of it, this perfume is like your skin it's like your signature it's like a part of you i feel like everyone just loves this fragrance if you do love this fragrance you love it you never get sick and tired of it like 
this is always on repeat. I speak to all of my other friends over on YouTube and they talk about how much they love this perfume. It's always consistent. I never find that they fall out of love with it. It's very rare that I find it, that they do that. Um, and this perfume, I have to say, is my easy grab and go perfume. However, this fragrance is fancy. <laughs> this is OTT, it is gorgeous, it is a stunning scent, but I think this is your dressed up, formal, going out perfume. That's how it smells, that's the impression, that's the vibe you get from this. It smells like money, it smells expensive, it smells like gold and diamonds. If you were to put it into a smoothie maker, you would get this, I don't know, it's just beautiful. But even though it's quite fancy and elegant, I want to wear this fragrance no matter what I'm doing. I could be just meeting friends for a coffee, for a walk, going out in the day. Um, I will still grab this perfume because it just works. Everything about it just works, guys. The longevity is there. It does play hide and seek with me a little bit. Oh, let me have some tea. Like, I, I can't really say I find that a problem for me. This is one of my best performing fragrances. It smells like money. It smells like expensive ingredients have gone into this. You can see this fragrance was carefully designed. It wasn't like a rushed product. And everyone compliments me on this perfume. But I have to say, I pick this up. Like, if I, I have so much, guys, from my collection, and sometimes I want to wear an oud fragrance or I want to wear something that's unique, I tend not to go to those fragrances because it just depends on where I'm going. I'm quite selective and I don't want to wear anything that's like overbearing or intoxicating. I don't ever want to offend someone with my fragrance, and I'm quite conservative, like how I wear my perfume. So I really think about the company that I'm with, is it going to be appropriate? Does it come across too um, provocative and sexy? Or, you know, I think about all those things, but whenever I wear Baccarat Rouge, I don't have to think. It's like, let me just grab that fragrance because to go through all my whole collection, to find the perfect fragrance, it's actually tiresome now because my collection is so grand. This fragrance I'm going to mention to you is a perfume that I absolutely adore guys. I really absolutely adore it. I'm too sure if others would adore this fragrance as much as I do because it has this very unique note in the base and that base is oak moss. I'm talking about my Gris Dior by Maison Christian Dior and this fragrance has rose, patchouli, bergamot, it's your chipre. And you guys know how much I love sheet press style fragrances. I find this like the perfect balance between modern and vintage sheet press. From what I know, I find this to be just a beautiful, elegant scent. This is not sexy. This is not um, playful. This is a grown up scent that is classy, sophisticated, and elegant. It is so beautiful guys this is one of the best fragrances from maison christian dior i enjoy wearing this perfume so much and i thought people wouldn't like the oak moss on my skin now i love it on my skin i think that's the most important thing you have to love your own fragrances but every single time i wear this i receive a compliment every single time this is something if you want to smell like a boss you want to smell rich you want to smell just glamorous and fabulous this is the one but i do think it is more on the mature side you guys like patchouli and rose um and let's just see you do have that bergamot in here it, it's sparkling and fresh guys it just reminds me of like a fabulous auntie oh gosh guys greedy or this will get you so many compliments <laughs> okay so i have my last fragrance here can you guys guess which fragrance I have? If you think you know what is my most complimented niche perfume from my collection, let me know. Let's see if we're all getting the idea with this fragrance. So let me know down below. <laughs> guys, the fragrance I have is Delina Exclusive by Perfumes de Mali. I receive the most compliments when I wear this 
the performance is everything like this ticks every single box every time i talk about this fragrance it ticks every single box and guys i have to say that i did not wear this perfume <laughs> And I don't know why I didn't wear it it's something I would save to like a more formal or very special memorable occasion and the reason being is because this perfume performs very well it's long lasting you can smell it on yourself others can smell it on you it radiates so well you don't need to over spray like for me I think once I went to this event once which I shouldn't have done it was quite a formal event I was in this small like venue like all the doors were closed because the room was lit by candlelight and the windows were closed, the shutters were sealed. Like it was so intimate. And I think at that event, there may have been, I think maybe under 50 people. I would say, yeah, maybe 40 to 50 people. I oversprayed this perfume <laughs> and all I can smell throughout the whole event was this fragrance. It was too much and I don't know why I got so carried away because I hadn't worn this for a long time. We just came out of lockdown, I atomizer happy <laughs> and I was spraying away. And this fragrance was so powerful and potent. This one you do not need to overspray. This one I think three sprays maximum. Guys, I was going crazy because I missed this perfume so much. However, <laughs> this fragrance is so gorgeous guys, it is feminine it is classy it is pretty and it's going to get you a ton of compliments this perfume is rose it is sweet there's a little bit of oud there's some incense in here there's a little bit of citrus in the opening it's creamy it's just got this sexy but still feminine and classy vibe about it it's soft it's pretty it's the bottle <laughs> It's so gorgeous. I love this perfume and I received so many compliments with this one. My darlings, this is the fragrance that wins for me out of all the perfumes. Oh. Darlings, those are all my fragrances ranked up to my most complimented fragrance. I hope you enjoyed my picks today. I would love to know what is your top three most complimented fragrances because I want to expand the level of compliments I'm getting from my fragrances now. <laughs> I would love to know what you guys are loving. When it comes to long lasting fragrances that get you compliments, let me know down below in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed making tea with me and my perfume selection. I will be back with another video. My darlings have a wonderful day. Take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.